I've got an image off the internet here. Let me take a look at it. We've got these windows here. It looks like these are double hung windows. And it looks like we've got each window here, we've got three panes horizontally and vertically. And we've got this half round window up here. And we can come kind of close to reproducing that in ARCHICAD by let's go down here and take a look. I'm going to go into 3D. You can see we've got a window down here and a window up here. This window down here is, if we go into its settings, it is under single double hung window. It is the W double hung win MU15 window. And I guess if we can take a look in here, I'm not sure if we can see everything we need to see in here. Uh, one thing that we ought to do is make sure in the reveal settings that we're set to be a solid wall and that we have offset maybe half the distance of the wall here. That way the window doesn't come out to the edge of the wall. And a couple other things that I've done in here um, are just, oh, we want to do this horizontal vertical grid. Again, we have horizontal panes, vertical panes. That's what gives us our, what we can see here. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's one, two, three, one, two, three here on the sash one and sash two. Now going back over here, Let's see here. I've changed a bunch of these to be smaller. Otherwise, it kind of doesn't really look like our picture. So I made this all one inch here. And you guys can play around with those settings, try and get them looking a little more like what you see in the picture. Another thing is, uh, I've turned off the casing and the sill and the stool. And I've also turned on ganging here. And I'm going to click OK. What ganging is going to do is kind of let these know, let these windows know they're a part of each other. So kind of take a look here. We've got, notice there's no real lines in here. But if I select this window here and I turn ganging off, you'll see that these lines kind of reappear. And maybe we don't want those lines to be in there. So again, I'll select that window, go back into the settings here and turn on ganging. And so this is kind of, I mean, it's, a little tedious, but if you uh, take a look at the library parts and you go into its settings uh, and play around, you can eventually get something that looks pretty close uh, to what you have. Now there's some of these over here, these windows right in here. If we go into, let's go back into 3D here, take a look, and those guys are going to be the half the quarter round windows. So we, we can see that this one is set to be the half round, but those guys are going to be down here in the quarter round window here. I just get to cancel and get out of there. And back into 2D here. We also, you know, have all this going on over here in the back of the house. And again, it's just going to be some windows here. Maybe we've got a six foot wide door here. The different grill pattern in it, and some windows here and windows up above with more uh, vertical grills and you just count in here. We've got probably eight this way, six up this way. We've got, again, we've got our half round window here, our quarter round window here. Um, if we take a look, sometimes these quarter round windows, uh, when you're placing the quarter round windows, You've got to click to either side of the window. So remember, you kind of uh, select, you know, you're going to place the window. You click on the wall, and you click on the left or the right-hand side outside the wall to say, yes, you know, our quarter round window faces this way rather than this way. If we take a look in 3D, over here, we've kind of mimicked what we saw in our 2D image there. And again, uh, a lot of this is just going in and setting the panels, the direction, and the thickness of everything. Uh, and then, don't forget, we don't want to be wasting a lot of time, say, 
you know, modeling both sides of this. So if I go in here and I delete all these guys, sorry, things are a little slow here. Let's show you, give you an example. All we have to do, really do, is model one side of this. Uh, and then you go in 3D and select everything. I'm going to right click, say move. And you guys can't see that. Let me go over here and do it. Right click, move, mirror a copy. And we'll go down and we'll find the center of our mirror here. And you can see we're going to left click right at that check mark there. And we're going to get a copy of everything on the right hand side. So. Try and make your uh, modeling as easy as possible. Just do the right side and then mirror it over to the left. Uh, also, when maybe moving these guys around, remember we can move things in 3D. So you can always match things, you know, vertically, you know, by clicking on these nodes and going into the appropriate mode here and then just going over and finding our check marks and we're able to line everything up. So yeah, it's a little tedious doing this kind of stuff, and you know, of course, we need to get the model the rest of the house and our uh, our roof here, our pitched roof above these windows here, and there's also probably some more yet more detailing going on with the wall here, but it's all possible. It just takes a little time and perseverance. So yeah, I recommend for our windows. The original question here is. We use a half round window up here and a double hung window down here and just search around in the library and we may not be able to get things exact uh, but we can get them pretty close.